You may be exporting data from an accounting tool that's in an Excel format every month and then converting it to a Google Sheet. Then you manually search, clean, and replace values. More specifically, you may probably spend a lot of time finding and replacing duplicates and performing advanced operations such as a VLOOKUP or a query function in order to pull data from other sheets or digging through records that use unfriendly date formats. In this episode, I will walk you through how to add automation to this monthly task and run it by choosing a menu option at the top of your sheet. Even if you are not as familiar with JavaScript, thanks to Google Sheets Macro Recorder. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. If you are new to the Macro Recorder in Sheets, it's a built-in tool that records your steps into a script that you can run repeatedly to get work done faster and more accurately. It's especially useful if you do not want to write all your steps by hand in JavaScript. Included in this video's description is a sample sheet with step-by-step -step instructions and helpful resources for you to check out later if desired. The script includes three macros that were recorded using the absolute references option. This saves the exact location of the cells while you record. We run these from a custom menu in your sheet, which is helpful when working with more people because it makes it easy to find where to execute it from, especially if other teams wish to make a copy of your sheet the script carries over easily. Another benefit is you can combine multiple macro recordings and run them from a single menu option if desired. To visit the logic, you select Tools, Script Editor from your copy of the sheet linked in the video. The first step was to record a macro that automates the creation of a pivot table to visualize what data is misspelled, such as state names. When done from the script editor, you can refine its name so it's more explicit. It's also a best practice to format the function's name into camel case. For example, I changed new pivot to misspelled states pivot and named the file in the script editor to code.js. You then repeat this renaming process for each macro you record. Next, you add the following lines to display a custom menu whenever the sheet is opened by a user and displays four sub options. This menu is displayed at the top of the sheet as clean my export and selecting its sub option, find misspelled states, kicks off the automatic creation of the pivot table every time it is clicked from the tab that holds the data you would like to represent as a pivot. Note that the first time you use the custom menu, you are prompted to authorize your script or when you save new changes to your script. And if you encounter a warning page that says this app is not verified, then proceed to click Advanced, Go To, and the name of the sheet, and then Allow. Next, a new tab called Misspelled States is created with a pivot table inserted, listing how many versions are misspelled as abbreviations, such as CA or NY. We fix this by using the Find and Replace feature under the Edit menu, since you can't use the macro recorder to automate this task at this time. The next macro in your custom menu matches each data entry to a particular office code since office codes are not included in your system's export. The macro does this by recording you using a VLOOKUP formula that looks up states and office codes from another tab in your sheet, and then dragging that field down the entire column. Now you can select Clean My Export Look Up Office Codes, and in a few seconds, it populates column E with the correct values for you. 
The third macro saves you time in having to split or modify unfriendly date formats. For example, your system may store dates as a blob of numbers like this. And you want to find all records that fall within January 2019. You then record your actions using the query formula to search for it in a table like this. Now from the custom menu called Clean My Export, you can select Query 2019 Records and it returns the values within that January 2019 period in table form. Note, once your script is created, you can always update it with new search criteria. For example, you can modify just a few digits if you change your search to a different year. And this way, you don't have to re-record the macro from scratch. As mentioned earlier, you can execute multiple macros at once if they are performing tasks on the same page. For example, of the three macros I discussed, we can combine the VLOOKUP and query macros into one action, since they work on the same sheet and do not need to run in a particular order. The macro that creates a pivot table would not be a good fit to combine with the other two because it works from a different sheet. However, you can always make adjustments to your script by hand or record your macros in a way that work together, such as creating a pivot table in the same sheet. To combine the VLOOKUP and query macros, we create a new function called macro combined and include both functions called lookup office codes and query records by year. Then we add a new item to the menu option called find and query from the spreadsheet. To run both macros in one click, you then select custom menu clean my export and then the find and query option. And there you have it a walkthrough of how to build your own automation scripts in Google Sheets using the Macro Recorder. And community, if you found this episode helpful, please click like and subscribe to receive updates of future episodes. Cheers.